Hey Hebrew fans, this is Todd. So I just had someone comment on my uh, how to remove these from the wrestling ring video saying that theirs actually snapped. And I'm guessing it snapped somewhere along here because they said snapped in half. Uh, I'm not guessing that it snapped down here, but we'll just see. So I'll go ahead and talk about how to fix it if, you're, if your ring post snaps somewhere along here and the best way to fix it. So. Um, the good news is these posts are not very detailed, so you don't have to worry about using, losing a lot of, uh, of the way it looks. Now, if it snaps in the middle, you're in luck. That'll be easier to fix than if it snaps at the joints. The bad part is, I'm guessing because um, of the rigidity of these and the strength, it's probably going to snap right at these joints, which this fix will not work very well for. But if it snaps somewhere else, like down here or somewhere else like that, this will be a pretty easy fix for you. So this is from the Castle Grayskull one. And uh, what I was telling the guy was wherever it snapped at, you want to get some heat shrink tubing. This one's actually a probably, uh, um, this is probably actually bigger than the one I need, but I don't have the exact size. But they shrink to, to half to one to one third of the size of the much one you buy. And you want to get some uh, JB Weld, quick picky weld stuff. Now basically this JB Weld stuff, you mix it in two parts. And I find it works really good to mix it like on a, the top of a paper cup with a screwdriver to see if you can control it. And you only got five minutes in to, to put it together after you mix it up. So make sure you're ready for it. Take the spot where the um, break is and you're going to take some alcohol and clean it and then dry wipe it immediately. So clean and dry wipe. Oh, Crank, thanks for joining us, man. And no, it will not make you stronger if you eat it. So after you uh, clean it really well, <coughs> excuse me, then you're going to take the quickie wheel, mix it up in the top of your cup, and then uh, put it all over the spot where the thing is. Before you do, though, oops, I almost forgot a step, is cut yourself some of this heat shrink tubing ahead of time and slide it on where the brake is on one side. Now, hopefully, the heat shrink tubing will, um, will be, be able to be big enough to fit on there. If not, it's okay if it goes inside the hole a little bit because you can actually still get in there and work it. So now that you, you've got the heat shrink tubing on there in the broken spot on one side, Take the, the weld, put it in the spot where it is, and then put it together and then hold it. Now, you're going to want to hold this for a while um, while the while it sets up. So we're probably talking five to ten minutes. Now, you may want to take and get some little vices like this. Oh, hold on a second. Just so you can put it in there to hold it while it's waiting. So you put it on one side in, in the vise. And then, of course, you put the other side that you repaired in the vise as well, just so it can hold it together so you're not having to uh, fight it. Um, and just let it sit there. Now, after the the JB weld is set up, because it's epoxy, it doesn't, it doesn't need air to dry, go ahead and heat the heat shrink tubing with your heat gun over the area you just welded together with the JB weld. It's not really welding, but they call it that. It's gluing and uh, it's okay if you have a sloppy mess on the outside of it it's just gonna make it even stronger so then uh, go ahead and uh, heat, heat that on there it will shrink around it and it'll make a nice tight bond to hold it so now you got the JB weld in there in the middle with the, the the damages and a heat shrink tubing around it and probably JB weld between the heat shrink tubing and the actual post and in about 24 hours that post will be super strong and it won't break again so or hopefully it won't break again so there you go. That's the way to fix your post so that uh, you'll be able to still use it. Because, dude, I know you said it's it's cool to, to, to not have the post, but come on, man. We all know that's eating sour grapes. And for those that don't know, eating sour grapes, the story is there was a monkey that could not reach the grapes or something like that or some animal. I forget what it was. And uh, basically, um, he said, well, those are probably just sour anyway. So... Um, basically saying that oh, they probably weren't that good so it's not that bad that I didn't get them so anyway um, just uh, fix that using heat shrink tubing and JB weld and you'll be happy with it or go to walmart.com and they got them on sale right now for 20 bucks and granted it doesn't come with any figures but you know and then you could take and uh, either use the other one for spare parts or uh, sell the other one anyway I am also working on a new custom figure i was going to do it today but i kind of got tired out and this is the north american sasquatch figure which will soon be my new beast man boom, boom, boom. and he's huge in size i got all kinds of parts sitting here that i'm going to use 
So I got my 2000X Beast Man that unfortunately is going to be broken in half soon so I can have his loincloth. And I already got the wrist cuffs, I think. Nope, I don't. And I'll be taking his wrist cuffs as well. And uh, then when it comes to the armor, I was really debating whether to use this armor and just paint it brown and paint the spikes white like I did on this one. This was actually the brown armor. Let's see, you can see on the inside that it's actually the brown one because I didn't want to paint the inside because I didn't want to get paint on the figure. And, uh, or I was thinking of maybe going with uh, the red one. Now it's funny, I bought a red armor from a guy online and I didn't realize till just today when I was looking at it. Now this is not from the guy online. This is actually from this figure when I stole his armor to put the other one on there and, uh, and just go and, and make... Um, Maybe not a 2000 X, just make a regular Red Beast Man. I'm still debating. But the armor I bought online from the guy, I couldn't figure out why it has all these weird little marks on it. And I realized he, he sanded off all the spikes. I thought that was kind of interesting. So I noticed it was kind of weaker right here, and I couldn't figure out why. And I was trying to figure out what the heck is on there. And I kept looking at it, trying to figure out what was on there. And it took me a while to realize when I started thinking about painting it that the guy sanded off all the spikes. So that was kind of funny. I didn't even even notice that. So I'm thinking, like I said, painting this brown and then painting the spikes white. And then I'm also thinking about making a new club for the new guy as well. Um, so there you go. All right. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, I was thinking about maybe just doing one super long live video feed so you guys can just be bored out of your mind watching me sand the parts and paint the parts and everything else. Or if I should do it ahead of time and then just show you guys a recap or both. Do a live feed and then later on download it and do a short recap. So I'm still debating how I'm going to run it. Sometimes it's kind of bad to do it, try to do it live the whole thing. Because as you guys seen, sometimes when you paint live, things can just go wrong. So that's kind of why I was thinking that maybe I don't want to just paint it live or build it live or sand it live. Because, you know... If things go wrong while I'm live, it's kind of hard to go, ah, and stop and re reconfigure what you're doing. But in another way, it's kind of cool to do it live so you guys can see my thought process and how I do it. Anyway, that's all I got. So that's how you fix this. And coming up this week, because I got some time off from work, um, I'm going to make that cool beast man. And then maybe even toss him on eBay. We'll see. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next video. Who knows, maybe I'll decide to start the Beast Man tonight. So anyway, like, subscribe, tell your friends. And uh, that's all I got. Bye now.